Minifrag Analysis This video presents the Minifrag option available in Sapphire to analyze pressure falloff data after fracturing. The specialized plots will be used to perform a post-shut-in analysis, an after-closure analysis to obtain closure parameters, identify the flow regimes, assess the reservoir pressure and the far-field transmissibility. Create a new document by clicking on the blank icon. Enter the main information by setting the correct reference time to match the start of the test. Ensure the units for the test are properly selected. Select Minifrac as the analysis type. The reservoir thickness has been defined as 50 feet. With multiphase PVT, gas is selected as a reference phase. Advanced PVT is defined by checking dry gas with water as an additional available rate. The reservoir pressure is set to 10,000 PSIA and the maximum pressure for the pseudo-pressure calculation needs to be increased to 15,014.7 PSIA, allowing for a broad pressure range including all pressure values expected in this case. PVT default values are used for both phases calculated through correlations. As gas was selected, pseudo-pressure values in plots may or may not be normalized. Choose Not Normalized. The initial water saturation is set to 12%. Other parameters have been kept as defaults. Now, load the data. Enter manually the rate values for the injector well. Gas and water rates are required according to PVT definition. Note the injection rates are defined by negative values. Define the different rate columns to water rate for the injection and gas rate for the zero flow. Click on Load. Both water rates and gas rates are shown on the history plot. Next, load the pressure data from an Excel file. Select the pressure spreadsheet. Pressure data are loaded in date time format. They are shown along the rate data on the history plot. The example consists of the period of water injection in a gas bearing formation followed by a long fall off. The analysis is focused on the fall off period. Click on Extract DP. Check the water production is taken into account so that the log log plot can now be generated. The fall off production event is automatically recognized. Click OK to create the log log plot. The G function, square root, and ACA plots are automatically created along with the log log plot. The G function and square root plots are used to perform post shut in analysis, whereas the ACA plot will lead to the after closure analysis. Start with G function plot. This plot shows three functions pressure, its drawdown derivative, and its semi-log derivative versus the G function. Here the objective is to find the fracture closure point represented by the dashed vertical line. Initially, the line is set to an arbitrary value. We need to find the correct closure point. Move the solid black straight line passing through the origin to match the linear trend on the semi-log derivative curve. The closure point is located where the data departs the straight line. 
move the red dashed vertical line to define the closure point. Although the closure point is defined, the consistency of the selection may be checked using the square root plot. This plot is similar to the previous. However, the x axis is the square root of time. The closure point will correspond to the local maximum of the pressure derivative. So zoom on that curve. Here, manually adjust the closure point to the nearest local maximum. This refines the closure point identification. The results are displayed on the plot. The main results are pump time, pump volume, closure time, closure pressure, closure G value, and the G function straight line slope. Secondary results are given such as fracture efficiency and instantaneous shut-in pressure, ISIP. Combining the two plots will obtain all corresponding closure parameters. The next step is to focus on after-closure analysis. Maximize the ACA plot. The semi-log derivative versus specialized square linear flow function is displayed. Be aware that in this plot, time is increasing from right to left. The flow function is highly dependent on the closure parameters. This plot should be used only after closure has been properly assessed. The plot is used for detecting possible characteristic flow regimes after the fracture closure. Use unit and half slope lines on the semi log derivative to identify the flow regimes. From its shape, a late pseudo radial flow characterized by the unit slope can be identified. In this case, no clear pseudo linear flow is present, although it should exhibit a half slope. So do not consider the yellow vertical lines and the half slope lines referring to a pseudo linear flow regime. Move the blue vertical line to indicate the start of the pseudo radial trend. Once the flow regimes are identified, change the plot type to display the radial flow function. Open the ACA parameters window. As it is not relevant, uncheck the pseudo linear flow regime. Click on Apply and select the Radio option. In the pop up pseudo radial flow window, pressure versus the radial flow function and Cartesian coordinates is plotted. The straight line automatically fits on the data in the radio flow interval and will give the reservoir pressure and far field mobility. Zoom in on the radio flow zone line. Click on the regression option to compute or manually change the position of this line as needed. The reservoir initial pressure is automatically updated based on the intercept of the line with the pressure axis. Click OK twice to go back to the square linear flow plot. The pressure difference curve is now created. The pressure and its derivative are now joined in the single unit slope trend showing the radial flow starts in the vertical blue zone. The main results of the after-closure analysis are shown. Start of radial flow, reservoir initial pressure, radial flow slope, and the far field mobility. We can also check a summary of all possible primary parameters from the mini frac analysis. The typical log log plot used with the drawdown derivative can be used to display and quality control the different observed flow regimes before and after the mini-frac job. This is done by recognizing characteristic slopes in the derivatives. This plot by default shows three functions, delta p, drawdown derivative, and the Bourdais derivative. The vertical dashed line, which indicates the time of closure, is automatically updated when this value is changed via the G function or square root plot. 
only the flow behavior after the shut-in is considered. So change the pressure at the start, P at delta T equals zero, to the instantaneous shut-in pressure, ISIP value, previously found on the G plot, by clicking on Options and selecting from ISIP button. Set the regime flow lines after closure point for flow regime characterization. The pseudo radial flow and pseudo linear flow regimes correspond respectively to minus one half or minus unit slope lines on the drawdown derivative after closure point. Match the lines to the drawdown derivative. The half slope or zero slope on board A derivative will be automatically moved. In a normal leak off case, it should be possible to see positive half slope line on the drawdown derivative and 1.5 slope line on board A derivative just before the closure point. This corresponds to fracture linear flow just before closure. Again, moving one line automatically updates the second. From these diagnostic lines, Certain parameters, such as XF and KH, will be calculated, although the values are very sensitive to the exact location of the specialized line since we are on a logarithmic scale. For example, KH is obtained as a result of the negative unit slope line on the drawdown derivative. This value is useful to compare with the far field mobility obtained from after closure analysis. On the log log plot, show the dp over dt. dp over dt can be used as an independent tool for flow regime identification. This removes any unnecessary data due to frictional losses unrelated to the closure analysis. More customized lines for flow regimes diagnostics can be created from the specialized lines log log plot. In this case, user input slope line can be created. The slope can be changed manually by moving the line for flow regime identification on different curves or by entering the line slope value in the specialized line table. Selecting Minifrac in the results table will show the analysis results before and after closure. This concludes this session on the Minifrac analysis.